I'm here with uh, Rooster. Rooster, you're the producer of, uh, of the uh, show tomorrow? Stage director. Stage, stage director. Stage manager. Uh, and you're responsible for setting up where everybody's going to sit, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, just to give uh, folks some perspective, here's the anchor desk uh, behind us. Uh, and so to uh, Darcel's left, I guess, at the, at the time, will be where you're going to have uh, Congressman Schuler and, um, and Jeff Miller and Russ sitting, is that right? Yep, there will be on a, uh, a riser section, there will be a, a raised uh, platform that will be right here. It's stored off camera right now. Um, on this side, the two gentlemen will be seated. There will be a monitor behind them to, to offset this monitor here. They're both addressable. And Russ will be right behind where you're standing. And from that position, we should be able to shoot nice shots of them. They should be able to see monitors. Um, Russ can get his questions in nice. So it'll be, they'll be within a, just a few feet of each other. It's almost like a, it would be like being in a small but wallless living room. Uh, you mentioned the monitors. The monitors are for what, Rooster? Uh, mainly so that the candidates can see the uh, Facebook questions. So they'll be, they'll be very clear as to what the question is. There shouldn't be any, any doubt. So the upper section is where the anchors can read text for um, the news. That's their teleprompter. But the lower section here is a monitor, and it just shows a version of what you're seeing at home. So that way, uh, if, they can see a mo if they can see a camera, they can see a monitor. So when it comes time to put the question on air and put it up full screen or fills the screen, uh, the folks here in the studio can see it just as well. So whichever monitor they feed it to, they can read it off of any of them. They, can, they don't just have to hear it, they can see it and be very clear. But like I said, the first notice that that question will have come up is when you see it. I understand there's some technical and lighting considerations. you want to explain those? True. The, the set is designed on a sensitivity to all the glowing elements. So you notice the columns glow. They're blue right now. In the morning, they're yellow. Uh, also, we have monitors attached to various wall segments and to the column segments. They all glow. Um, but you don't really want to shine too much light on something that's glowing. It will wash it out. It's like trying to see a candle in the sunlight it makes it difficult to see. So the set is lit in such a way that the minimum amount of light falls on the set pieces and the maximum amount of light falls on the people. So you notice how it's lighter here and just a few feet over here it feels much darker and is much darker. So basically the, light, the lighting in this set is designed on darkness with little pools of light, controlled light, to make the people glow and be able to see what they're doing. So we have to fit our blocking to that lighting pattern. It really can't be changed. Uh, all the lights are interwoven and connected. So if we make major changes in one set, it warps the set around them. So we have to kind of work within these, these set areas that the lighting designer created. And there's, there's only so much room in the studio. It's not as big as people might imagine. Mm -hmm. And yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Everything in here is mobile. So like the set that will come in here tomorrow, right here it's just an empty floor. Uh, we have a, a handrail that goes in. Sometimes it's used, sometimes not. We have a monitor behind uh, uh, Russ right now. That's the monitor that actually be over here tomorrow. It won't even be over here. So all this stuff, even the desk itself moves. It doesn't move to different positions, but it rotates. So we can actually have different portions of the wall segments as the background for that. So it's designed to be as adaptable as possible given that we can't use absolutely all the floor space. We have to be where the lighting pools are designed. Now is it typical to have something going on off camera, you know, on the side of the, the anchor desk while, while you're doing the news? Oh, it's conceivable. Sure. We're, uh, we're constantly working towards the shots we're coming up on. So while, when you're seeing show happen, we're busy making sure that part is successful, but we're also busy two or three events ahead getting set up for that and sometimes once in a blue moon you may hear a noise in the background and something gets moved well that's us getting something ready sometimes for another boom. shot if you fall down it goes boom yeah <laughs> uh, now now when uh, the gentlemen aren't speaking uh and you go back to the the new the regular newscast what typically will they be doing will they be you know up and chatting amongst themselves or yeah they're just probably sitting here relaxing yeah. so um I'm hoping they'll be very relaxed. <laughs> Rooster, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, you talking to us. No trouble. <laughs> you want to see the set? It's right over here. This is what we're going to be on. And you can see where it's marked. So this rolls. And this will roll over there. And you've probably seen it in the morning, on the morning shows. Yeah. They use it a lot. That's what it is. This thing lights up in the middle. 
And then, um, as far as I can tell, I'm over here tomorrow. Yeah. And see, it rolls. Yeah. We'll lock it down so that the candidates don't roll off tomorrow. But yeah, it does move. Um, so let's see, you can see where it's taped. There'll be a chair here. And then the two candidates, there's not a lot of room over here, so they're going to be pretty tight, side by side. Uh, Russ, why did you decide to uh, put the two candidates sitting next to one another and not you in between them? So that it's easier for them to talk to each other or, or go back and forth if they choose to do so, which they'll be allowed to do if they want to. Do you know if they've met in the past in person? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow if they've got any chemistry. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Start talking.